What's up, survivalist? Optimum FN here, and thanks for hanging out with me today, and welcome back to Remnants. Oh yeah, bud, we're back here with another quick guide for you. In today's guide, we're going to go over everything you need to know about the collectors. If you guys have missed any of my previous guides, I'll link a playlist up in the top corner. Make sure to go and check them out. If this is your first time visiting the channel, consider subscribing for more daily content. If you're already subscribed to the channel, thank you guys for your continued support. And don't forget to hit that like button. All right, so you hear about the collectors. You want to know everything you can about these guys. Now, they do give an item uh, that you're going to need here in the game. If you're running around the map, you will see caches scattered throughout the map. They do require a key card, and these collectors do have a chance to give you that key card. Now, these collectors and their loot is all RNG, so it's based off of RNG, uh, but once you kill them, you do have a chance to get these key cards. Now, they do spawn some other items that we'll talk about here as the guide goes along here, but I want to talk about the damages uh, and the guns and items that you can use on these collectors. Uh, so let's get into it here. Now, the weak spot for the collector is going to be in his eye. That is the weakest spot that we have found so far. Uh, now, some of these damages on these guns, they may change because uh, Overrated is working on uh, weapons still at this point of the game. He's added in a few already, but let's get into some of the damages here. Now, I'm going to put up some images of each uh, guns that are currently in the game right now. The amount of ammo that it takes to kill these collectors, and I'm going to give you guys a cost of what it's going to take to craft these ammos. All right, so let's start with the scrap pistol. Now, the scrap pistol is going to take um, nine millimeter ammo. So all these pistols are going to take nine mil, and so is the MPA. So let's start with the nine mil ammo. So the scrap pistol will take 105, roughly. Now, I did an average. I uh, killed three collectors with each gun, and this was the average that I got currently right now as recording this video for you guys. So the scrap pistol is 105 to 110 shots. It's gonna cost you 315 gunpowder and 105 metal frags. Uh, so the P205, that's going to cost 105 to 116 shots to kill it. 315 gun ammo or gun powder and 105 metal frags. The 9 mil pistol took 100 to 105 shots to kill it. So that's 300 gun powder and 100 metal frags. Uh, and the MPA took 60 to 70 shots to kill it. And that is going to cost you 180 gun powder and 60 metal frags. Now that's all the 9 mil currently in the game. There is another pistol, which is the revolver which uses the 38 ammo. And here's an image of that. And it took 66 to 74 shots uh, in the eye. And that's 528 gunpowder and 264 metal frags. So the revolver in the class of pistols um, and the nine mil ammo took the less, the less, but it took uh, 528 gunpowder and 264 metal frags to craft the ammo to kill the collector. So the cheapest and best gun for pistols in the game right now is your 9 mil pistol, which took 100 and 105 shots in the eye to kill it. All right, so let's move on to our guns here, our ARs. We already talked about the MPA, which is the only submachine gun in the game right now. So the ARs, we have the AKU, and it took 75 to 85 shots of the 762 ammo, which is going to cost you 750 gunpowder and 375 metal frags. The CZ7 took 85 to 95 shots, which is surprising because the AKU has less damage than the CZ7. So I'm surprised about that, but that is also 762 ammo, and it's going to cost you 850 gunpowder versus. 425 metal frags uh, for those. So those are the two 762 ammos. Let's move on to the 556, which is the MQ-16. It took 64 to 74 shots to kill, and it costed 320 gunpowder and 128 metal frags uh, for those to kill the collector. 
And then we have the LR-18, which took 60 to 70 shots to kill. And that costed 300 gunpowder and 120 metal frags. So that is the 5.56 ammo and the two guns that it uses. Uh, so out of the ARs, it looks like the cheapest and best that I could find was the LR-18, which took 60 shots. And it only costed 300 gunpowder and 120 metal frags. All right, so that looks like it's the cheapest. Now, the, the second best was the MQ-16 at 320 gunpowder and 128 metal frag. So if you have either one of those guns, that is going to be your cheapest AR. Now, let's move on to the shotgun, which is the final class here because uh, arrows do not do damage to the collector. So if you're shooting the collector with your arrows, currently right now, they do not do any damage to the collector. All right, so the shotgun. So the shotgun, by far, is the best gun in the game right now to take out these collectors. So with the shotgun and the handmade shells, uh, it took 11 to 16 shots in the eye, and it costed 55 gunpowder and 11 stone with the handmade. So you can make these handmade shells pretty cheap starting out in the game if you're lucky enough and RNGs on your side to get a shotgun. So with the regular shells uh, for the shotgun, it took 10 to 15 shots in the face, um, and it's gonna cost you fi uh, 50 gunpowder and 20 metal frags. So that is currently the guns in the game right now. Now you can also damage the uh, collector with uh, explosives. Uh, the dynamite's kind of hard because they are set on a time. The other charges, the explosive charges, uh, are 500 damage, so it takes quite a few of those. Uh, it takes six to kill a collector that way, and again, it's on a time. The other explosive that I recommend is the C4. It takes three C4 to kill a collector uh, with 3,000 damage. All right, so now that we've talked about the guns and the ammo it takes to kill the collectors, let's talk about where they spawn. Now, there are several different locations in the world at the moment right now where they do spawn in areas. Now, there may be more um, areas that they spawn, but these are the areas that I know of, um, and I have over 200 hours played in this game. Uh, comment down below. Let me know if you guys know any more spots where they spawn, but uh, the areas I have found are two in the desert, one at KLF, one at Sunset Town, uh, and then up in the north biomes, you have the factory, you have the hangar, you have Sunset Town, and then you have this uh, house that's in between Church Town and Log Town. All right, so now that we've talked about the guns, we've talked about where they spawn. Let's go ahead and get this guy to chase us here. Now, they will aggro onto you. Try to stay away from this wolf here, but as you can see, we're going to start to take radiation damage. Make sure you got some type of protection and some anti-rad pills. Uh, we're going to use a shotgun here for this one, but uh, you don't want them to get too close. They will one-shot you. And you just want to aim right for that eye there. And then just uh, just circle them around until you get your ammo here. Now, we've already taken five shots here. So that's six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, if you're lucky enough to get them right on the eye, it's going to take less shots. So try and aim for that eye there. And as you can see, that took 11 shots. So like I said, with a shotgun, it's going to vary depending on the shotgun and the amount of damage the shotgun does. But once it's down, hold E to interact with the collector. Now, as you can see, he has electrical scrap here. Now it is all RNG. Now some of the items that he will spawn is going to be your electrical scrap, your scrap metal, and your metal plates. And then lastly is your key card. Now you're going to need, like I said, this key card to open up the caches. But before we go find a cache, let's go ahead and check out one more collector in the desert here. All right, so we're down here in Sunset Town. This is another spot here. And what I like to use is C4 here. It's my personal favorite here. So if we can get him to run over all three of those. Boom, three, uh, three C4 will take him out just like that, guys. Pretty simple. It is expensive to, to make C4. Might take you a minute. And as you can see, he only had metal plates on him.
Well, I couldn't get a collector to grace me with another key card, so I'm going to have to use the two that I have on me. But uh, around the map, you're going to find these blue uh, caches. Down in the desert, there's some uh, tan ones, so they blend in kind of with the environment to where these blue ones up here in the north kind of stick out. But what you're going to want to do is put your key card on your hot bar, hold E to interact with it. Once you're inside, you will get the loot from the old cache here. Uh, now, it is all RNG, so it's not specific what you're going to get out of these. And that will use the key card. As you can see, all that disappeared. As you can see on this key card, it has a code on it, 9.073, to where this key card does not have a uh, code on it. Once you have a code on it and you've unlocked a cache, that card is no longer good. So you might as well get rid of it, at least for right now in the game. It may change in the future. I'm not sure. But uh, right now, those key cards that have unlocked caches, just get rid of them. You cannot use them for anything else. All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap up this quick guide on the collectors. I hope you guys found this guide informative. Took me a while to uh, get this information together and get it out to you guys. A lot of testing went into this video, so I hope you guys appreciate it. Uh, quickly, to recap, the best 9mm weapon currently in the game uh, is going to be your MPA. The best 7.62 weapon is going to be your AKU. The best 556 weapon is going to be your uh, LR18. And the best overall weapon in the game right now is your shotgun. And then if you want to have a little fun and it's very expensive is going to be your C4 with three C4. Make sure you guys comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this video. Also give me any tips or feedback. Uh, also, check out the link down below in the description for my socials. But as always, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like button. Also, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe for more videos. And I thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you later. Until next time, take it easy.